we've already seen that if we take a hole, and in this example, the hole is this entire green circle, and if we were to split it into five equal sections, one, two, three, four, five, so we split it into five equal sections, and if we were to select one of those five equal sections, so let's say we select this section right over here, that we have selected one fifth of the whole, one out of the five equal sections. We could do the exact same thing on a number line. Everything we've been doing so far has to deal with shapes, but we could do the exact same idea on a number line. So let me draw a number line here. So let me draw it pretty big so we get a sense of things. So go all the way to there. And let's say, let's say that this is zero, this is one, and this is two. And of course, we could keep going if we had more space to three, four, and, and on and on and on. And what I want to do, instead of taking a circle and dividing it into five equal sections, I want to take the section of our number line between zero and one and divide it into five equal sections. So let me see if I can do this. So, so one, two, three, four, five. That looks pretty good. I'm drawing it as, as exact as I can with my hand. But let's just assume these are five equal sections. So what would happen, what would you think would be a good label for this number right over here? Well, it's the exact same idea. Between zero and one, I've traveled one out of the five equal sections towards one. And actually, let me make it a little bit neater than that. Make, it, make the equal sections look a little bit better. One, two, three, four, five. And what we're thinking about is this. What, would, what should we call this number here? This number is clearly between 0 and 1. It's clearly closer to 0. And we've gone 1 out of the 5 equal sections towards 1. Well, it makes complete sense that, well, look, we had 5 equal sections here, 5 equal sections here, and we've traveled one of them towards 1. So we should call this number right over here 1 fifth. So when we're talking about the, a, a fraction, one-fifth, it's not just talking about, hey, what part of a pizza pie have I eaten or something like that. It's actually, this is actually a number. This is a number, and we can actually plot it on the number line. Now you might say, okay, well, that's fair about one-fifth, but what about all these other slashes? What numbers would we call that? Well, we, have, we can make the same, it's the exact same idea. If up here, instead of shading in one out of the five equal sections, if I shaded in two of the five equal sections, then I wouldn't say this is one-fifth anymore. I would say that this is two-fifths. And so if I go two of the equal sections towards one, then I should call this number right over here, I should call this two-fifths. And I could keep going. This right over here should be three, three over five. This right over here, I've gone one, two, three, four out of the five sections towards one. So I could call this four fifths, four fifths. And then I could keep going. I could call this right over here. I've traveled five out of the equal, out of the five equal sections towards five. So I could call this right over here five. Let me do that in a red color. I could call this right over here five over five. You might say, hey, wait, but five over five, we've gotten to one. And that's exactly right. If I were to shade in five things over here, let me do that a little bit cleaner. If I were to shade in five, no, that's not the color I want to use. If I were to shade in five things over here, we've already seen that shading in five things, so if this is, let me make this a little bit neater. If this is now five over five, or five fifths, we've already seen that this is a whole. And over here, if we've traveled five-fifths of the way towards one, we've gotten to the whole one. Five-fifths is the exact same thing. Five-fifths is the exact same thing as one. It is equal to a whole.